Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here behind me, you can see the 1996 Superjet, which is the year they switched over to this body style, which is the SJ model, 701. Most people go by the 700 model. And the condition this thing is in is incredible, which the owner that had him, which was the first owner, he had it for 20 years in the garage. Bought it for his kids. Kids rode it for just a little bit and they didn't really have much interest in it. So here I am with this beautiful thing. It's unreal to have this kind of a ski in this kind of condition with very low hours. They said they rode it a handful of times and most of it most of the time it, it was just sitting in the garage and they rode their other skis because they said uh it was very hard for them to ride they couldn't really stand up but that's the best for me because i'm learning how to ride these things and this actually marks my first year of riding so i'm excited to be able to hop on a super jet and I've only rode this thing when I picked this up to test it. And uh, it was way different compared to a JS440 that I have that's modded. I'll show you guys later on on what I have that I used to ride and what I learned on. So I'm super excited to uh, show you what I'm having right here. And I'll just go into a little bit of more details on this beautiful thing. So let's turn the camera around and go into some details and some specs on this thing. So here it is. This thing, the ski is in excellent and fabulous condition. A um, few things I've noticed that I don't understand why are on here. Uh, like the sticker right here, Hydro Turf has been, I'm guessing, replaced. I don't think they come stock like that. But just look at the side wall. I'm noticing some stickers been added on it. But the condition of it, there's pretty much very limited scratches on it. Super great condition. Just everything just in wonderful condition. Starts right up. So this is the 701 model, which produced around 63 horsepower. Um, it's the 701 cc motor which was produced till about 2020 then it was discontinued and they went to the three cylinder four stroke and uh, which produced a little over a thousand horsepower and uh, this thing had around 63 horsepower and uh, they produced this motor till 2000 so it's a very popular bulletproof almost you can say motor and it's amazing i'm guessing they added this right here which is the bilge pump it does have a bilge pump in there uh, i'm pretty sure that's aftermarket and also this is a premix as you can tell it's a 50 to 1 so there's only one tank in there which is the gas tank and they pre-mix 50 to one with uh, TCW3 oil. That's what it's rated for. I'm not sure what other people run in here. The fuel storage is at 4.8 gallons. So it should be plenty of room. I can see where um, this kind of back end kind of goes up, gives you all some better traction. But overall, it's in very good condition. 
Let's give it a start. Pretty quick. So, can't beat that. It just starts right up. This model was the twin carb Makuni. So, supposedly that was the better thing. I hear a lot of people like this model. And uh, I got it for a very good price, I would say. So, if you guys are interested to know what price it is, post in the comments. And uh, I can reveal that. But overall, it seems to be pretty stock, as in no mods and stuff like that. Um, compared to the JS models, because that's where I started, the Kawasaki. I mean, this is completely different. It's a different animal. Just the way you open the latch and kind of like holds the pole right here. Which is you just tuck this thing under the pole. Don't get me wrong. I still like the JS models. But I mean this is a 96 model. But I guess it's got a, some storage right here. That pops right open. And it's got the fire extinguisher in here. Fire extinguisher. I guess it's a dry hold too. You can put your registration probably cards in here and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is because it has a rubber seal on there, on the lid. So a lot of this stuff I'm learning on the fly. I'm excited to share this with you guys. And um, yeah, I'm guessing it had a little mat right here that's lost. Got a little piece of hydro turf to open the hood. You unlock it right here, then you just pull up, open, and then you just grab this thing. Let me see if I can master it with one hand. I'm going to grab it right here on the intake port. Just lift it right up, slide it out, and boom. Just like that. It's got a brand new battery just looks unreal in here pretty clean I'd say spark plug boots have been replaced or something I'm guessing this is the stock this is the aftermarket um, I'm not understanding why they're running B8ES spark plugs on here when it says B8HS so um, definitely replacing the spark plugs even though it does start really good and everything but as you can see here are the belge pump wires right here and it's tucked right underneath the, the drive. And uh, yeah, it's nice and dry in here. Full tank of fuel, but can't really trust it. I think I'm gonna drain it and just start off new, put some fresh gas in there. But even though it does run and uh, yeah, super nice, super clean. Just the fact it runs and everything. You can tell that this spark plug is uh, a bit rusty over here. So I guess when it's sitting, there was some condensation in here and it just kind of rusted on. But I mean, I, supposedly these spark plugs are really old. And when I went to test it at the lake, um, it was, uh, when I pulled the spark plugs, it had a lot of carbon buildup on the spark plugs. So I'm sure that's not a good thing. I'm sure it's a... Uh, better thing to just replace the spark plugs but overall i'm just super pumped with this key um i can't be more happier with uh having this opportunity to own one in this condition so i'm very excited to share this with you um hoping to do some riding with it i'm not sure if i'll get to do it this season but definitely going to be more excited about this one um, because when i did test it out and rode it on the lake when i picked it up it was 
I mean, power on demand kind of thing compared to my JS440 right there sitting in that corner, the blue one. But overall, I'm pretty excited. Can be complaining. But yep. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I got a few more things I got to share with you. Um, been working on that sea dew over there in that corner and got that thing started. Um, some simple fixes, but yeah, got a garage full of things going on. Alrighty, guys, stay tuned for more and we'll be sharing more details on this super jet, how it performs, and I'm super excited. Peace.